Start with your square that you cut out out of construction paper. Trace a design on one of the sides and cut that side out. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take that side and you're going to put it to the opposite side and you're going to tape it down there so that you have one solid shape, something like this. Uh, be creative with your lines and your designs. You don't need to copy these ones. You can come up with some more creative as well. Then on one of the other straight sides, sketch your pattern on there. You're going to then cut out that piece of pattern and you're going to tape it on the opposite side as well. When you tape it down, then you should have your full tessellation uh, complete. Okay, so what do you think your tessellation looks like? Do you think it looks like a bird, maybe a stingray, maybe something totally completely else? Then once you've got that tessellation, trace your tessellation onto your grid that you have been given in your kit. Make sure you're lining up those lines from your tessellation so that you're being accurate in your sketch and your drawing. There's no point in having all of those grid lines on there and the lines from your template, your tessellation template, and then not matching them up. You need to match them up so that this will uh, line up. This should be what your final tessellation looks like when all your sketches are on it. Now what you need to do is just put some simple sketches into the shapes to give you an idea of what the tessellation pictures could be. Uh, you don't need to spend a whole lot of time at this point because at this point uh, you're going to be doing three other tessellations as well and then you'll decide which tessellation you're going to expand on further and do for your final project.